So we're gonna talk about how the rescue mission is going so far. At 2 a.m. in approximately Toronto area, on the side of the highway was a vehicle with two people, one with a cell phone changing and the other one changing a tire. 2 a.m. in the morning, minus 20 degrees, without the wind chill. We were able to assist with using my bigger flashlight and uh, that's about all I did was stand there with a flashlight. We were on the side of the highway. It was pitch black. I wasn't able to get any footage for you guys. Uh, but when I did, as soon as I pulled into Ottawa, parked here downtown right by Parliament Hill, gentleman comes over shivering, says, can you start my car? I've been sleeping for four hours. I woke up, I left the heater on, and now my car is dead. So we were able, my intuition said I was going to help someone that was freezing. Now... We did help him, he wasn't necessarily freezing to death and there was all kinds of other people to help as well. But fortunately I did immediately get him vehicle boosted and he was able to get warm. So that was great. Uh, the next thing we did when we first started walking down the street to head to the hill, we found a convoy of about eight to 10 people carrying about 16 gas cans, all diesel. And they were all stopping every 50 feet-ish. So I jumped over and started uh, grabbing a couple cans and taking turns carrying the cans down to the up. We carried them about six blocks. There's a main organization tent down at the end where everything gets dropped off at. Uh, everything is here very camped in. Um, we had a lot of fun. We grabbed uh, a box of the 24 Costco granola bars and we ran down to all the park trucks that have been here right for, since day one. Uh, all the drivers that were in the seat in the window, I just held up the box, it was wide open, they were able to reach in if they wanted, no thank you if they didn't. Got through the box in, I don't know, a few minutes, I'll, I'll, I'll add in some video of that later when I get home and can compile a whole bunch of this, it's, it's, it's a lot going on at once, and let's talk about that now. So the next thing to mention is the police presence and how it's building, and Overall, talked to a police officer first thing this morning about 7.30. He said they've had no incident of any convoy member or organization or peace rally protest member getting uh, into trouble. That was his opinion. I didn't get it on camera because my camera was frozen. So, and then I went later this afternoon, but they're way too busy. They're not taking uh, conversations. Um, so I will try again tomorrow morning when they're just standing around uh, twiddling their thumbs and uh, see if we can get some more footage of uh, a police officer commenting on uh, how they've, uh, what kind of trouble they've been having here uh, downtown uh, Ottawa. Now the noise is intense, uh, absolutely. Uh, this is a business section here, most of it. Um, definitely cannot be operating business uh, right now with this amount of noise. Um, so it could be a bit annoying on that aspect. Uh, other than that, all I've seen is peace, hugs, and kisses. Uh, not literally, but uh, uh, so far it's been a great time. Um, I look forward to tonight, clocking back in. We're gonna drive around, see if we can see somebody in need of some heat, maybe need of a boost, and uh, we'll see if we can help some more people out tonight. Right now, there's no way I'm moving this vehicle. It would take me an hour to get this vehicle out of downtown. It took me five minutes to get in. It would take me an hour or more to get out. I have no idea even to estimate it. So listen guys, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel so I can bring better material to you. I'd love to give you live footage as it's going on. That would be amazing. So please share, subscribe, do all them buttons, comment. Uh, if you're behind the movement, if you're not, either way like it's not about the movement here so whatever you got to say this is about freedom so freedom of choice of words i look forward to reading some comments and i wish you all a safe weekend don't freeze